So let's get started today. Peanuts are good and good for you. We actually have a gentleman sitting back right here. He's on the board of the Georgia Peanut Commission. And he's a peanut farmer. So if you don't know what peanut farmers look like, they look like the rest of us. Uh, but she's going to get close to you there, Rodney. So anyway, we're going to do the gooberry trail mix is how we're going to start. We're going to start with my favorite ingredient, peanuts or peanut butter. This is a cup of just roasted peanuts. I've got some golden cherries. Don't use the old black cherries. The golden cherry is so much more flavorful and tastes so much better. So we're going to put some golden cherries in there. Uh, uh, then I'm going to get my peanut butter fixed too. Reese's Pieces. So we've got Reese's Pieces. More peanut butter fixed. These are Hershey's peanut butter morsels, baking morsels. And then Halloween just isn't complete without candy corn, is it? You got to have your candy corn for Halloween. Joy, you ready over there? I'm about through for the day. This is all I got to do, right? I'm ready. That looks like a, a great snack that you could use uh, to serve on a Halloween to give to your trick-or-treaters. All right, now then I'm going to put some dried cherries in it. Maybe. This is the easy tear bag. You notice I got on the side where it was easy tear and it wasn't easy to tear, so then I went to the other side. And, and then I've got some dried mixed berries that have cranberries and blueberries and nice little things there. You know, Georgia is the leading producer of peanuts in the country. We produce half the U.S. peanut crop. So we'll put our mixed berries in. Now, Joy, can they get this label on our website now? They can. Uh, you can go to gapeanuts.com and download the recipes that are we are showing today as well as the labels that you can print so that you can make your own uh, snack bag at home. All right, now you notice how I kind of stir that going around with the bowl, and as you dip it up, keep it stirred up now. You just take and put however much you want in there. Zip it shut. And you have our new goo berry trail mix. What are you doing over here today? Some of you may have Snickers left over after your trick-or-treaters. And so what we're going to do is take the Snickers and make some Snickers blondies. And to do that, first you do take some all-purpose flour, uh, bacon powder, and salt and mix that together. And then in your mixer, you add in some brown sugar, some light brown sugar. Um, that was a half a cup of the light brown sugar. And then add in uh, a stick of butter. And it says to uh, have that at room temperature. I did put it in the microwave for just a few seconds just to help moisten it, soften it a little. And then mix that up. Well, this is uh, unsalted butter that we are using. And once you have that mixed up fairly well, then we'll add in one egg. And then add in a teaspoon of vanilla. And then after it is mixed up, then you'll add in your flour, baking soda, and salt mixture. Okay. We'll add in the flour mixture here. I always like being in control of the candy at Halloween for the trick-or-treaters. I make sure they don't get all the good stuff. I keep that for using for myself, for personal use. So what's your favorite Halloween candy? You know, it used to be a Snickers bar, but I think it might be the new Snickers PB Squared that's the peanut butter version of it. Yeah. Man, that's a nice candy bar. So after you've added the flour mixer, mix, uh, just mix that up again until it's uh, mixed up well, pretty light and fluffy. And um, basically you take about uh, 12 of the fun size Snickers and chop those up. 
once you get those chopped up, just empty them in the mixer. And mix that up just a little bit, just to get them folded in there good. And then you can take a, a eight by eight uh, square dish and uh, line that. I like to line it with the parchment paper so it's easier with transporting it out and you don't have to worry about uh, spraying the pan or anything like that. It's real mess free. Mm. Peanuts and uh, peanut butter are very nutritious. They're also packed full of protein. Good for folks that want to become mothers. I don't know why they y'all get all the good stuff. Yeah, they're a good natural source of folic acid, That's and they right. also help people with losing weight. Uh, they're great for folks that have adult onset diabetes too. Yeah. Uh, because they don't spike your blood sugar. They kind of ease your blood sugar up, and then they hold it for a long time. Yeah. If you. Uh, Want to uh, lose uh, some weight? Just have an afternoon snack of peanuts before meal time, and then you won't uh, be as hungry at supper time, so you won't eat as much. So after you have it all mixed up, uh, put it in your eight by eight square baking dish, and just smooth that around, and then put it in the oven for um, at 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then once it cooks, uh, you can lift it out of the pan. And we've got some samples uh, over here on the table that we'll pass around to you. Okay. And uh, it usually makes about 16 servings. All right, now we've All got right. one more uh, dessert that Don's going to showcase that's great for the fall time. Well, I was just recently at a little event at the Georgia Agrarium or Nash Museum of Agriculture at ABAC. And a lady had done a peanut butter and jelly mousse. It's peanut butter and grape jelly. And now peanut butter and grape jelly is the favorite sandwich of Americans on white bread. Peanut butter and grape jelly on white bread is America's favorite sandwich. But I said, you know, peanut butter and jelly just, that's not elegant. So I went to the test kitchen and I said, I'm going to make something that's really a nice something for fall something that'll work out and I said what is more fall than peanut harvest and pumpkins so I started with uh, I went and looked and you can buy a pumpkin pie mix already all mixed up and it's got everything in it you add an egg put it in the crust and you can make you a pumpkin pie and I said I'm gonna make a, an easy peanut butter and pumpkin mousse and, and that's what you're getting sample right now so what it has, and it's very easy, it's two cups of the, peanut, of the pumpkin pie mix. Now, one of the things I'll tell you to do with this is put it in a skillet and heat it up. I don't like taking anything directly out of the can without heating it up. So put it in the skillet, just heat it up until it gets a little steamy, but don't burn it. So we've got two cups of the pumpkin pie mix. I have two cups of peanut butter, creamy peanut butter. This is Jif creamy peanut butter. The folks at Jif, because we've had kind of a hard growing season, say that in November, the price of peanut butter is going up 30%. So, so you better uh, stock up now. Uh, if you, uh, they say in November. So let me tell you what you can do. You can keep peanut butter in the cupboard unopened for up to two years uh, uh, if you don't open it so uh, but for sure you know you can buy your year supplier buy your couple jars buy your few extra jars and just do that so I've got two cups of peanut butter I have four tablespoons of powdered sugar also known as confectioner's sugar And then I'm going to mix this up a little bit. Uh, the peanut butter pumpkin mousse will make a great uh, dessert for Thanksgiving or any type of uh, holiday event that you have coming up this fall. 
very easy to make, and I'm sure all of your guests will love it. She used butter, and I'm using heavy whipping cream. <laughs> so I got a cup of heavy whipping cream that I'm going to put in here. That helps to lighten it up and give it that little mousse-like texture there. Peanuts and peanut butter are also a very uh, versatile item that you can use in the kitchen because it's something that you can add to many of your favorite recipes that you already prepare. Any of your casseroles, you can add peanuts as a topping on your casserole or um, on a salad, uh, have some chopped peanuts on top of your salad. So, you know, if you've got some favorite recipes, just experiment. Have some fun in the kitchen by adding in a little peanut butter or peanuts to that recipe. Now, I wanted to say how I really meant that you do this, but I had to think about it. But you beat this stuff till it's fluffy, and it'll get kind of fluffy. So you want to beat it on high and kind of fluff it up a little bit. And uh, the closest I can come is you just beat it to death. That's what you got to do to get it fluffy. Now, a mousse needs to be served in glass with a stem on it. Uh, you know, mousse is kind of like a high-powered pudding. Mm -hmm. And so it needs to be elegant. So you want to serve it in glass with a stem uh, uh, so that it has that elegance about it, so that, you know, that it's, it's something special. So I'm taking a Ziploc bag, and I'm going to fill this little Ziploc. So you take that. Teaching y'all a trick now. Take your kitchen shears and just cut a little point off of it. All right, so now we want to take and we want to get it in this little cup here. And we want to try and not get it all over the cup. Then after you have it in the glass, you add, for a garnish, just a little bit of Ready Whip. Thank you. And uh, then complete it with the candy corn. Now you want to take and put it in the refrigerator and let it set up a little bit before you put the Ready Whip on in a normal situation. But you can see, it's very neat, nice, and attractive dessert. You can get these recipes either today we've got them here or you can always get the recipes off our website, Joy. That's right. Our website address is gapeanuts.com. We do have copies of the recipes up front as well as a, a Georgia National Fair recipe, peanut recipe winners in the past from the peanut recipe contest. So pick up that brochure as well. And we do have a few more samples up front if you'd like to take another snack bag with you or another sample of the Snickers Blondie. Thank you.